Here I will show you a few practical tricks to influence anyone. Make people feel needed. People are drawn to people who need them. Who doesn't need a sense that their life matters? Give someone a sense that they are truly needed, not because you're desperate, but because they are special. Follow this simple strategy. Explain the whole situation. What is at stake? Explain the specific role someone has on this. Emphasize the importance of his role. Tell that he is a perfect guy for this task. Acknowledge that this request will require a sacrifice on his part. Ask him if you can count on his help. How long will it take to employ this strategy? Very little. You can go through these steps in a brief conversation. Reveal the secret of others. This trick consists when you tell someone a secret about what another person thinks of him. It's often used by bad people to destroy relationships. But we can use it to enhance the self-image and improve his relationship with others. Imagine what impact might have on that person when you not only compliment him, but also reveal that others feel the same way. For example, let's say that you want to motivate your little brother or sister to spend more time studying math a subject they hate. First, spend some time helping them with their homework or preparing for a test. And if they get a good grade on the test, say, I am very proud of you, but I want to tell you a secret. Do you promise not to tell anyone? Our parents are also very proud of you. And do you know how many people the mother said that you are doing great in math? She has been bragging how smart you are to everybody. She didn't tell you because she thought you'd get embarrassed. So I just thought you should know this. The encouragement will help them form a self-image where they are good at math and they will start to spend more time studying because it goes along with the image they created. Artificial time constraints. Have you ever been to a bar, library or airport and someone wanted to start a conversation with you? Did you felt awkward? The discomfort comes from not knowing when or if the conversation will end. So, the first step in developing rapport is letting the other person know there is an end in sight and is really close. You can do that by mentioning the time or having the body language that shows you are leaving. Most human beings assess new situations and people for threat before anything else. Humans have genetically survived because of this. The technique works because it is specifically designed to lower the perceived risk to a stranger. Use simple phrases such as, can I ask you a quick question? Or, I have to leave in 5 minutes, can I ask you a quick question? It gives you a pretext to talk to a stranger and it also makes them feel comfortable around you. Command and command. The word and joins the first and second commands. The listener is overwhelmed with information. He doesn't know which command to resist, so he accepts both. For example, at home, take out the garbage and close the door behind you. Go upstairs and clean the room. At the office, call me at 3 o'clock and give me an update. Finish this project and let me know when you are done. On a website, click here and visit our site. Contact us and ask how we can help. People are more likely to carry out your commands when they feel that you are an authority figure. It helps if you appear strong, even a bit threatening when you issue your commands. Ego suspension. One of the hardest to do, but is one of the most powerful tricks. Suspending your ego and making others' views, wants and needs more important than your own makes people want to be friends with you and like you. Suspending or putting on hold your own ego elevates another person's ego. For example, I was talking with my friend about my favorite TV show, which is The Big Bang Theory. I am a big fan of this show and I have rewatched it many times. My friend had seen the first episode and I asked him about his opinion. He told me that it was the worst show on television. He continued, the jokes are hard to understand, the laugh track sucks, and it gives way to many scientific definitions. And I was like, are you fucking crazy? You saw only one episode and you reached that conclusion? Okay, I had that thought, but I didn't express it. Instead, I said calmly, I understand why you think that way. When I first saw that show, I thought the story isn't that appealing. 
a group of scientists with poor social skills who like Star Wars, comic books and video games, which is the complete opposite of what they prefer. I never saw Star Wars, nor read the comic book, and I'm not a big fan of video games. But it's interesting to see these brilliant scientists struggling with normal situations. Plus, that show has some good damn writers and actors. I would suggest you give it another try. He's a big fan of Sheldon, by the way. Now, I understand this isn't the best example possible, but you get the point. When someone criticizes your choices, don't be angry. And don't defend that person if they are dead wrong. They will stick to their argument, and the harder you try to change their mind, the more you will make them feel they are right. Instead, try to understand why they feel that way. Explain your choice using logic or emotional arguments. It depends on how they express themselves. And give them a suggestion on what they should do. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any question or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section. Subscribe because I will post more videos about the psychology of influence. See you next time.